Hi, I'm Webster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Apple TV using Auto Hotkey and some scripts and Season Pass. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is you have an Apple TV. Um, you're going to need Season Pass. So, the first thing you need to do is download Season Pass from this website. I have the link at the bottom. You want Mac or Windows. In this in my case it's Windows, so download to, download that to somewhere. I already have it downloaded, so once you have it downloaded, extract it. You're gonna see this file right here, season pass. Double click that file. You get this menu up here. You're gonna click create IPSW. What you're gonna do is you're gonna <coughs> wait for that to finish. Alright, so you can see that it's done now. It says waiting for device to enter DFU mode. <clears throat> so what you're going to do now is um, you can take the Apple TV out of the box. I'm going to do that right now. So we going to make a brand new Apple TV here. <clears throat> take it out of its wrapping. Here's the Apple TV. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. We'll take the plastic tape off of it. <coughs> take the plastic tape off. Now take the Apple TV. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. So you need a micro USB cable, which is same cable that plugs into a lot of Blackberries and uh, I don't know if you can see it's the Blackberries and a lot of phones, Samsung Galaxy and stuff. Uh, USB on the other end here, as you can see. So you're gonna plug it in at the back of the Apple TV. So. <clears throat> Once you plug it in, you should see a little light on the front of the Apple TV. You can see it there. If you don't see that light, uh, what happens sometimes is it just needs a bit of power. So if you just take the power cord out from inside the box, um, plug it in. Uh, but just make sure you take the power cord out after it prompts you to restore. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So now we're going to hold um, the, these two buttons. And point it, point the remote to the Apple TV for about seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna do some stuff. It's gonna say that it found it on here. <clears throat> so now um, I forgot to mention you have to have the newest version of iTunes. So make sure you have that before you before you start doing all this stuff because it uses iTunes. So now you see it says, would you like iTunes to restore the firmware automatically? If I had a power cord in it, this is where I would take the power cord out. But because I don't have the power cord, I can just click yes. So there we go. Now you'll see iTunes do some stuff here. Eventually it'll open up. So now you can see that it's starting to do some stuff up there. So what you're going to do is, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you some of the other stuff you need to download in order for it to work. So um, the way I jailbreak them is I actually use a script instead of entering a bunch of commands. So I've uploaded that script. Um, I have two of the links at the bottom. So if you just download that atv.ak script. Um, in order to run the script, you need auto hotkey. So you can go to this website, um, I have it down at the bottom, you need to click Installer for Auto Hotkey L, download that, <clears throat> install it. Once you've installed that and you've downloaded my uh, script, in order to run the script, you're going to see this is what the script will look like on your computer. You just double click it, you'll see the thing, and if you look down in your task tray, you should see the script right here.
And so this is the script. So now um, we're just going to wait for this to finish and then I'll show you how to install XBMC and a whole bunch of plugins on your Apple TV. Okay, now you can see that it says Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. So, now uh, if you get an error here instead of this message, it probably means that you left the power cord plugged in. Make sure that you let's put this down here so you can see it. Um, make sure that you unplug the power cord before you restore it with iTunes. So once you've done this, you can just click OK. You can disconnect, disconnect the Apple TV. And go and take it over and plug it into the TV. So I'm gonna plug in. In my case, I'm gonna plug in network cord. The, the power cord. Sorry about that. And HDMI. So obviously you can use Wi-Fi too, it doesn't matter, I just prefer to use this because it's easier than setting up my Wi-Fi for everyone I do. Um, so now, you need to make sure that you have WinSCP downloaded and PuTTY and AutoHotKey auto that I mentioned before. So WinSCP, the link is down below in the info, but you want installation package sponsored click that install it you should get a little icon like that in your start menu or down there putty same thing you're going to download putty.exe put that somewhere where you can uh, access it like your desktop or something TV going in the background so we just going to select <coughs> English it's going to connect quickly Is authenticating, you're gonna know thanks are okay, doesn't matter. So now when you first turn it on, it's gonna take a second to connect to the internet there. The menu comes up. You can see that little FC in the corner that means it's jailbroken by the fire core team. Um, if you go over to general in the bout, you can see the IP address of your Apple TV. Um, I should mention that if you don't have it plugged into the internet, um, you're gonna to have to go to um, in settings, general, network, configure, see if you, I didn't have the cord plugged in, it would say configure Wi-Fi there, you're going to click configure Wi-Fi, go in, <clears throat> select your network, enter your password, once you've done that, you can go to about or on the network page, you can see it there as well, you want to take down that IP address there, 192.168.1.146 in this case, then we're going to go back over to the computer and now here's where it gets fun so what you're going to do is first you're going to run putty so if you've downloaded putty for me I've put it down in my start menu it's the little lightning bolts <coughs> you get this screen putty configuration you enter in that IP address that you found, 192.168.1.146. And then you're going to click open. Might take a little couple minutes here. Then it's going to load up. While you're doing this, make sure that you have this script that I made open for focuses anyways um, so you get a little warning menu up just click yes that's going to say login as you can click you can type in root as the username and alpine is the default password now you see apple tv root up there if you go down here make sure that you have the script open can't really see it but it's up in the corner there <clears throat> now once that you have that script open the first step 
to um, update the sources on the Apple TV is you're going to push the Windows key and 1. Push those both. As you can see, it starts typing stuff. So it's going to type a few things here. The last command that it types will be. You can also type these commands manually, but um, I decided to use a script. Um, if you open up a script in like Notepad or something, you can see uh, the different commands that you would have to type. Um, apt dash get update is the last um, last command for that hotkey. So this this might take like five or ten minutes. So we're just gonna let it go here. So once that's all done, you'll see. You might get like a little thing at the bottom, it's fine. You get um, ATV root again. Now we're going to do Windows key and number 2. You can push them at the same time. Windows key number 2. You'll see it starts doing stuff. This is to install XBMC on it. Well, it's going to run. You don't have to click anything or hit any buttons. So, As you can see down in the corner there, it's going to take about a minute 51 for this for me, for my internet in particular, so um, I'm gonna cancel this. So this is almost done now. Once it's done, you'll actually see the Apple TV reset, so I'm just gonna go show you. <coughs> so you'll see the screen turn off and on whenever it's done here. There you go. And when it comes back up, you'll notice that the uh, Firecore symbol has gone on the bottom right there, and now it's uh, an Apple TV symbol. You'll also notice a new menu item, XBMC there. So now I'm going to show you how to install Neato TV real quick, because um, it's sort of useful. So if you hit Windows key 3, as in the third step, <coughs> Windows key 3, you can see it's going to do some stuff here, it's pretty easy. Um, so this is going to take another you know, couple minutes, we can wait I guess. So while that's installing, let me show you how you, um, <clears throat> the next step you need to do to install all the uh, plugins, so that's actually already done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click that WinSCP that we downloaded and installed. It's the one with the arrows. So you're going to get this video or this screen. It says WinSCP login. You're going to click new. Use that same IP that you have up in the top right of the putty window if you forgot it. So 192.168.1.1.1. And same username and password, so root and alpine. Now you can click login. You can leave the putty window open because you're going to need that. Make it this little window, it doesn't matter, just click update. So now you'll see this is your computer on the left hand side and the Apple TV on the right hand side. What you can do now is you're going to go up one parent directory. Now mobile library and preferences. Once you're there, if you look on the left side of your screen, hopefully you downloaded um, that folder that I gave you. So if you download the zip <coughs> downloaded the zip folder and then extracted it, you should have a folder called XBMC. Make sure you leave that as the title of it. Now you're gonna all you're gonna do is drag this over here to the right. You're gonna click if you make sure it says private var mobile library preferences slash start out star copy. This is going to take about, you know, depending on your internet, two minutes or whatever. Um, so, what this does is it actually installs, um, it restores a backup of my version of XBMC, and that basically installs all the plugins that you might want, like Ice Films and um, Project Free TV. One Chan, uh, Canada On Demand, Sports Devil, you know, a whole bunch of plugins that you would want to use on the Apple TV. 
So I'm just going to cancel this while we wait for this to finish. So now that that's all done, you can see um, XBMC on the right side, it's in the folder here. Once you've done that, there's one last thing you need to do to restore the file, the backup properly. So back in PuTTY, make sure you still have that script open. You're going to push Windows key and X, as in XBMC. Click that, it's going to run one quick command. Once that's done, you can type kill all Apple TV with capital A and capital V. That'll do a quick reset on your Apple TV. As you can see on my screen over here, it's reset. And now that you've done that, it's actually, that's everything you need to do. So you can go over to XPMC, click that. And you can check out my other videos for how to use some of the plugins. But basically you're gonna go, once you're on, when you turn it on, you should be on the video menu. If you go down to files, and then over on your remote, the Apple TV remote, click add-ons. You're gonna see a list of a whole bunch of add-ons. So one chin, Canada on man, college humor, free cable, ice films, uh, project free TV, sports double, etc. etc. So if you wanted to watch um, something from Ice Films, just gonna click it. As you can see, um, you might get that little box up in the corner, Ice Films add-on updated. That's a good sign. That means that the um, everything went smoothly and just means that there's a new version of Ice Films come out and it got pushed automatically to your device. So I'm gonna select Ice Films just to show you real quickly. TV shows, movies, you know, you get it. You can select a movie, TV show, and that's about it. Check out my other videos and click subscribe at the bottom.